Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. In this tutorial we will model the second link of the robotic arm and since this is a detailed part so I have made in two different parts. So let's begin the, with the first part. So I will click on file, click on new, select part and click OK button and after that I will make sure that uh, I am working in millimeters so I will select MMGS from here then I will click on front plane and click on sketch and after that I will create a center rectangle at this origin like this right and then I will specify the dimension so this is 120 millimeter length and the height of the rectangle is 38 millimeters and after specifying these I will create another center rectangle here so I will create it like this then I will specify the dimensions so the distance between um, these two lines is going to be 8.5 millimeter right okay then I will specify the height of this rectangle as 21 right and then the distance between these two lines is going to be 15 millimeters and finally the length of the rectangle is going to be 41 millimeters right and now sketch is completed I will go to features select extruded boss and I will extrude it up to 11 millimeters and I will check the box all right then I will select the fillet tool and I will select here this type of fillet where I need to specify three faces so this is the face one phase two and in the third window I will select the phase three so the fillet has been applied and after that I will select this face and click on sketch and then I will select the convert entities which means that I have got this external boundary then I will select the entire sketch and I will select the offset entities as you can see this yellow colored line when I select the reverse is going to be internal so I want the external offset of three millimeters and uh, I will check the box now I will go to features select the extruded pass space and I will extrude it up to eight millimeters right as you can see this yellow colored material right and I will check the box so this color has been created right and then I need a plane which cut the part in half like this so in my case this is the top plane so I will right click on the top plane and click on sketch button and I will make sure that I am creating the sketch on the fillet side right then I will make sure that uh, this is the normal two okay and I will select the line create a vertical line from this point to this point and a horizontal line as well then I will specify the dimensions so the length of this vertical line is 5 millimeter and the length of the horizontal line is 40 millimeter I'll specify these right and after that I will create a spline so select the spline select this point click this point in space no problem anywhere and finally here press escape button now alright so let's select the smart dimensioning tool from this point to this point the distance should be 25 millimeters alright and then from this point to this line I have to specify the vertical distance so this is 2 millimeter and now the sketch has been completed now I have to cut this in both directions so I will select extra cut and both directions mean if I select through all it will cut in one direction but I will if I select through all both it will cut in both directions so we want in both directions alright and now I will select this face click on sketch and I will create here a corner rectangle from this point to here alright then I will select a smart dimensioning tool the length of this line is 49 millimeters and I'll select extruded pause space and I will extrude it up to surface so in direction 1 I will specify here up to surface and I'll select this surface alright and I will check the box and then 
I will select the back side this back side I will select the surface click on sketch okay so now I will create a corner rectangle here and I'll specify the length of this line which is 52 millimeters the other length we do not need to specify direction so we do not need to specify the measurement so I'm gonna extrude it so I'll select here blind in the external direction outside direction I'm gonna extrude it up to 8 millimeters alright so now I need to cut it um, on the back side so I'll select this area and I will select convert entities right so I will go to feature select extruded cut and I will cut it up to 5 millimeter length in this direction internal direction right okay and now I will select this side right and click on sketch make sure that you have this side okay all right so what I'll do I will create a corner rectangle here and then I will specify some dimensions so from this line to this line the distance is 10 millimeters okay and from this line to this line the distance is 7 millimeter okay and now I need to specify the length and the height of this rectangle so this the length is 31 and the height is 13 so I will specify the height as 13 millimeters and then I will cut it so I will go to features select extruded cut and I'll cut through all all right okay and then um, I'm gonna select this backside surface this one and I will select this surface and click on sketch right now I will hold the control key I will select uh, all of these lines and I will select the convert entities right okay now I will create a circle here I will hold the control key select these two points and make relation horizontal okay and then I will specify the diameter of the circle which is 18 and then I will specify the distance between these two points and this is 10.25 millimeter okay and then I will select extruded ball space and I will extrude it up to 2 millimeters and direction should be inward not the outward the inward direction right and then I will check the box so I will show you how this has been extruded from the design tree so this is the before extrusion and this is the after extrusion right and now we are left with one more thing for this tutorial and we will create the rest of the thing in the next row so I will select this surface and click on sketch okay so I will rotate the part okay I will select this surface and select the convert entities and then I will select here normal to one more time because I want the opposite surface to be appear then I will select entire sketch and I will make it as construction geometry and now all of these lines have been converted into center lines I will select a center line again from this midpoint to this midpoint I will create a center rectangle a central line sorry and then I will create a center rectangle on this midpoint I will use these reference lines okay and from this point to this point I have to specify the distance which is 7.5 and the sketch is fully defined now I will go to features and I will select extruded cut and I will cut it up to 8 millimeters in the inward direction okay so I need to specify here blind and cut it up to 8 millimeter in this direction I want the material to be cut in this direction so that's all for this tutorial guys and we will complete the part in our next tutorial